joined the agency because I've been so unlucky with love. I need their help. Ready to order? You yes, do, I yes. think we're ready to order. Can we please have some chorizo? Can we have some arancini, please? Yeah, would that be all? Some garlic prawns. <laughs> right, that's down. That's what I asked for. Yeah, I think he can probably remember all that. Nice garlic prawns in me mouth. Jesus, what's she planning on doing to that prawn? I didn't mean that in a sexual way, I actually love prawns. So since Married at First Sight, I was dating somebody in the public eye for a while, but it didn't really work out, and here I am, looking for love. I think I've been so unlucky in love because I just keep going for the wrong guys. I keep going for proper bad lads, and that needs to stop now. Do you always smell your food? A little bit sometimes. <laughs> You know, sometimes when I eat salami, it's got that di that distinctive smell. Yeah. And it that. smells like vagina. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? It's got like that tangy smell. Classic first date chat, this. You know, my <laughs> vagina doesn't smell like that, but I've been with my but friends. I hope no. <laughs> oh, your mate's vagina. Good save. I'm looking for somebody confident, just like me, but not arrogant, not somebody cocky. Someone that's got a good aura about them, so when they walk into the room, you can feel the presence. So they have to be over six foot. Green eyes is my favourite. Love a good set of teeth. If you've got veneers, come my way. They've got to have good banter, good tan, and tattoos as a bonus. Three of my biggest red flags in men is definitely liars, cheats, and people with crack. So Carlos, what, what is it that you do for a living? Tell me more, okay. I'm intrigued. I was in the British Army. I spent like five years in the military. Really? Yeah. After that, I just like start like setting up my own businesses. Did she just lick that sausage? Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. I think the agents will help us this time round by actually listening to what I want because I think Paul Brunson was spiked the last time he set us up with someone and I got married. So I think this time he's going to have to take into consideration the looks and the banter because my ex-husband was dry. I get a lot of plastic surgery. Really? Every time I put weight on, I go to Turkey <laughs> and I just get the fat sucked out. Like, I prefer all-inclusive and a swim-up bar, but suit yourself. Just think, right, you can close your eyes <laughs> and lie on an operating table and get it sucked out within four hours and then when you wake up, you're skinny. So who the hell wouldn't want that? People that I used to go into the gym. Fuck the gym. <laughs> when I see Paul this time round, I need to tell him to up his game and to sort his act out because I need him to find me the one. I think when I find the one, I'll get this like warm, tingly, fuzzy feeling inside. You just know when you love someone, don't you? You just get that vibe. 